Alrighty, welcome back everybody. We are hopping into Terraria today, and let's go ahead and fight some good old Calamity bosses today. I was looking, or I actually wasn't looking through things, but I was thinking about uh, going and fighting Cryogen, because I don't think we fought them, yeah, we didn't fight them yet in this world. And we need to do that so that we can get the Life Alloy for some other upgrades. I think it was to the Terra Edge. Let me check. No, we need Eulabloom for this one. Ooh, the Flood Tide. And the Hell Kite. Both of these look really cool. I may just have to grab some. Ooh, Santa Claus is back. Yay. <laughs> but anyways, let's head over to the Snow Biome. We need the key first, so... Key... And cryo key. There we go. Let's... Snow biome is over here, I think, actually. No, that's desert. There's snow. Alright, so fast travel. Activate. Alright, so let's go ahead and wipe the floor with cryogen here for a second. Where is he? Alright. <laughs> Some nice frost flame explosions here. And seems to be doing good so far. Yep. Well, let's go ahead and use a little bit of the Star Fury here for Star Wrath. Like that. There we go. The Ice Caves now have the Frigid Energy. Nice. Let's go ahead and pop all those away. Uh, what else did we need to fight today? Oh, yeah. Uh, aquatic Scourge. So. No, I'll walk there this time. So, basically, we're gonna go through and fight a whole bunch of the, uh, Calamity bosses. Oh, my voice is low? Uh, hold on, let me go ahead and fix that here. Open the sound settings. Yeah, I went into a meeting, uh, earlier today. Boom. Better. Yeah, I had a meeting earlier today for some school-related stuff, and, well, for some reason, the the site that I always go to ends up just lowering my microphone. But, either way, it is fixed. Alright, good. I uh, like we've got kind of a mini armada just here behind us. Or just army, at least. I mean, of course half of the army doesn't attack, That's the small ones up there that don't actually do anything, but still just kind of fun to have. Alright, so let's see if we can find Aquatic Scourge out here. Hello? Any Aquatic Scourges down here? Actually, did, did we fight Aquatic Scourge already? Let's get on top of the water here for a second. No, we didn't. But they should spawn around here. shouldn't take too long. There goes something that was down there. Alright. Oh, there's just... <laughs> there's an urchin just there. Yep. That is gone. Just for speed's sake, let's go ahead and activate uh, Battle Cry here. So it'll make it so it'll spawn, I guess easier. Alright, where is everything? Lots of things died up here. You know, I'm starting to think that I'm a little bit OP. But then again, this is Calamity, so you do kind of need to be OP if you're not, like, a master at the game. Which I will not claim to be a master at this game. Alright, so where is... This guy... Should I wait on the shoreline? Should I just sit and wait here and hope that he just shows? I am not sure. So... I guess I'm just gonna keep hopping around until I see him. I mean, I shouldn't miss it. It's really big worm thing. 
Oh no, there's a bloodthirsty aquatic <laughs> urchin over here. I know that there is a summoning item, but I don't think I have it. It was sea... seafood. Wasn't it? Sea remains schematic. Burning sea. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, well, uh... Oh, there he is. Let's rock. Oh no, it's sluggish. I don't know why it's just sitting there, but it is, and I will take it. So, there we go. Aquatic Scourge has been defeated. Easily. Decaying Fishtail. Someone's a pet catfish. Ooh. Aquatic Scourge plushy. Who doesn't want one of those? Uh, oh, we never got the treasure bag for it either. May just want to go in and find one of those. Empress of Light has. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to be very confused that I summoned uh, an Empress of Light somehow. That's not a catfish. Uh, actually, no. That that is a catfish. Never mind. <laughs> Why are there so many of these? Why? Uh, I'm not sure why there was so many, but uh, now they're gone. Alright, acid lamps. Oh, I seem to be taking care of this event easily. What in the heck? Okay. I don't appreciate being smited by the heavens randomly, thank you. Um, uh, <laughs> not quite sure what happened there. But, we uh, seem to have won. Oh, we got the trash can. Nice, uh, this is actually... Actually, I think we got this earlier in the series, considering that it's already researched. We got it at some point, I just don't remember when. Alright, I'm gonna reactivate that and let's just go. Alright, so what else do we need to fight today? We did need to go and fight this. This was in the underworld, right? Yep, the dread candle. So let's go ahead and fall down our elevator. Yeah, Cthulhu is here. Nice. Actually, I wonder, can I buy the Terra Prisma off of the Empress of Light? Where did where did she move in? Is my question. I think she's down here. Yep. Hello there. I would like to buy your finest Terra Prisma. Oh, I didn't research any of the weapons. Empress Wings. Oh, I apparently have the Empress Wings unlocked. Prismatic Die. Uh, the Mask. What else? Oh, the Music Box. The Master Mode item. Soaring Insignia. What else? Oh, that's a Hollow. Nice. Don't wait. Okay, for some reason my hockey puck's going off and I'm just gonna ignore it. Alright. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that in my microphone. I hope you cannot. Because she's just... She's just going off. Um... <laughs> Alrighty then. Storm Insignia is nice. What does this evolve into? The Flight Mastery Soul. It's from Bat Wings, Fledglings, Fairy Wings, Harpy Wings, Frozen, Flaming, Bone Wings. Uh, we need Festive Wings, Betsy Wings, Empress Wings, Fishron Wings. Lots and lots of wings, but we almost have this. In fact,. I think we only need, like, one more thing. Hold on. What else do we need? See if we can get that, that that's gonna be handy. So that is infinite flight, up-down gravity. Nice. So we just need festive and Betsy wings. Why not summon the Frostman? Is it Frostman? 
Empress, and yeah, it was Frostman. Let's go ahead and fight this thing off while we're here. Why not? I realized that we never actually uh, did this event in particular. All right. So, is there anything new? The cryogenic staff. I can turn into a snowman if I had enough money, which I don't have. So, let's go ahead and fight the Frostman then. I mean, really shouldn't put up that much of a fight, especially not anymore. I mean, I should just be able to swim around in here and just beat it with ease. So, this needs to happen at night, which it is not yet, so let's go down to the underworld and fight that uh, Dreadnought while we're waiting. And fall down. We need our Dread Candle. Alright. And if anyone's wondering why I'm going through and beating up all these bosses, because some of the bosses actually change things in the world instead of, uh, like, just giving you items. So, all these bosses that I'm going back and beating that I beat in the last world didn't transfer over all the stuff, because, well, it's a separate world. So it didn't transfer over all of the different stuff that they unlocked. So, I still need to do all that. Hence, the backtracking. I'm gonna finish this. Alright. So let's get down here. Just think it's a nice calming fall all the way down, so... Let's... Use the Dread Candle. Oh, I tossed it. Hold on. Boom. Alright, where is he? There he is. Now he's not. <laughs> that was easy. Anything special from the treasure bag? Hell Shard Staff. Interesting. Alright. Well, is that done? Use my cell phone to get back. And let's hop back up here. So we also need to set up a spot for the, uh, whatchamacallit? I'm trying to remember. Old One's Army, there we go. We need to set up a spot for that somewhere in the world. Oh, the truffle moved in, nice. Oh yeah, that's right. I would ended up spawning them in at the end of the last episode to make the Universal Collapse. Which, let me just reiterate for everyone who's here and wasn't here for the last one, I will not be using the Universal Collapse on this world. <laughs> just to reiterate, to make sure that everyone knows this fact, this world is completely safe from me using any Universal Collapse. Alright. So, I'm starting to think that I don't really need the Anarchy Blade or the, the Unai's Knife. Or y Unai's Knife. There's this one, which was cool, but... It's more cool for the early game, not where I am in the game. So I'm thinking about just tossing them. Alright, it's almost night. Means we shall fight the moon. Alright, I do need to make a nice spot for events like the Old One's Army. So where do I need to go for that? Huh? Ah. I guess I just clicked on a button by accident. Alright, so now that it is officially night, the Frost Moon is rising. So now we should just be able to activate Battle Cry and just start shredding things. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit of shredding. Alright, let's just... Whoa, that is a lag spike. Whoa. Okay. Maybe a little bit bigger of a lag spike than I was expecting. Alright. Oh, there's already the Ice Queens here. Nice. I may want to turn off Battle Cry the sole fact that I think it's going to kill my game. <laughs> Alright. So that was a crazy start. Let's go ahead and just collect everything here. 
Alright, so there's a Santa NK1 and an Everscream. No clue where the Everscream went. I'm not sure if I killed it or not. So what are these? Shiver Fragments. Hmm. But we need the uh, festive wings from these guys, the Everstreams. They're not dropping anything, I wonder why. I'm not sure... Yeah, there's the chain gun from Santa NK1. Ice Queen Relic. Was I just getting unlucky and not getting any drops from that particular monster? I'm just not caring about the Ice Queen that's just around. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get all this. Get all that. Sorry if you all can hardly hear me over all of this. This is Everstream stuff. Alright. You know what? Just to make it a little bit easier, let's go ahead and plant one of those there. <laughs> Just let my minions do all the work. Got Angelic North Pole. Oh, something hit me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Something's doing some damage. Which I am not liking. Get these guys out of the way. The Shrub Star. Alrighty. A oh, Frozen Crown. Nice. Uh, Ice Queen Trophy. Got the Reindeer Bells. Alright. So we are getting somewhere today. I'm going to use a little bit of the Ultimus Cleaver here to get a little bit of this cool fire reaction in here. <laughs> Alright. Probably should head back up to the arena at some point. Here's the Razor Pine, Elf Melter, Boy Tank, Everstream, Shiver Frag. Alright. Come on. I think these ones just don't want to sit still, so they can get stars. Alright. And... boom. This is really easy. Okay, cool. Thanks for letting me know that you guys can actually hear me over everything that's happening here. Because this is... Loud on my end. You know what? We've been sitting around for long enough. We should be further along. So let's battle cry. Added chaos. <laughs> Who doesn't love a little bit of extra chaos in their games? Alright. So I think it ends at wave 25 now. As you can see, we are getting quite a few little bosses here that are easily dispatched by my Meow Meow. <laughs> as well as all these little minions that just get turned to mush. Alrighty. Seems we are making quick work of this event. Oh no, it's only wave 20. Okay. I thought it ended on, like, wave 25. Well, either way. That's basically the event over. It's just one of those, like, can you reach the high score? Which, yes. Yes, I can. But I don't feel like making everyone sit through me murderizing so many monsters over and over again. Oh, there's a Mimic. Nice. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on ahead and say it is now morning because... There is still so many things spawning. Alright. Now we have gotten that done. I think we got the festive wings unlocked. Let me check the thing here. 
did we? Where were they? So we need tethered. No, we have tethered. Fair we didn't get the festive wings. Oh, we need an Everscream trophy. Well, that sucks. We'll have to come back for that a little bit later. When it turns night again or something. But. Oh, who knows? There may be one just lying around on the ground. I could have picked one up in my void bag as well. Nope. Okay. Let's check around down here to make sure. Some more of these shiver fragments. Alrighty. Well, doesn't seem that I got it, so... Let's make the arena for the Old Ones army. Find a nice midpoint to start from. And then let's build out from there. So those are platforms, yeah. Um, ba -ba. I don't really know where to fight it. I could probably level one of these uh, islands there. And then just build a nice area across. No, I'm going to build it on top of these trees here. Let's invoke fast travel so that we don't have to spend uh, about half an hour getting here. And start leveling out the playing field. So we need uh, the stand. And we need a block to build out of. I kind of want to make it out of wood. But I also want to make it out of maybe stone. Stone. What kind of stones do we got? Hmm. You know what? I think that the uh, Titan Stone looks really cool. Is this modded or no? No, this is... This is normal Terraria. Okay. No clue why that bugged out there for a second. Let's go ahead and make it out of Titan Stone. Now, truthfully, for this one, I'm not really worried about whether or not it's, like, actually centered. I just need to build far enough in either direction that it doesn't really matter. As I fall off where I'm building. Alright, so, basically, a few screens to the side. It should be good. Alright. Also, I want to go for the... I think it was, like, the Soul of the Warrior at some point probably soon, because it is a OP thing for especially melee users, because it'll make it so you've got like plus 20% melee damage, and think about that with all the damage that I'm already doing, that's easily an extra couple thousand. Let me check the recipe for that actually, what was... Alright, what was... So... Here you go. Berserker's soul. So we need Barbarian Essence still. What am I missing here? I still need the Shroomerang. And that's it. So we make the Shroomerang, which is from Spore Bats. So basically I need to go to a Mushroom Biome Underground and just Battle Potion. Everything. Alright. So now we just gotta build out in this direction enough. And we can get those Betsy Wings to go ahead and work further towards that uh, Soul of Flight Mastery. Because I am hoping to make the entire uh, Soul of... Uh, no, Soul of the Universe, there you go. No, what? Or was it Soul of Eternity? I think Soul of the Universe is one of the like add-on pieces. So I remember there was a... Terraria, like, Fargo Soul Mod plus Calamity crossover thing, where it had, like, the soul of the tyrant, and it was really cool to have, because it had all of the Terraria Calamity effects. I'm gonna... Yeah, it was Soul of the Universe, which then, yeah, it's Soul of Eternity. Just a few effects. <laughs> But yeah, so, crazy amount of effects there. 
and we needed Soul of the Universe here, which needs Universe Core, which is new. How do we get this? And we need Abominable Energy. I still have no clue how to get this Universe Core. I may just have to look it up. But, let's go ahead and get done with this event here. We need the Crystal. Oh, wait. I'm still in blocks. Alright. Crystal. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Completely passed by it. And let's rock and, rock and roll. There we go. Go ahead and put that one up there. And you know what? Let's go ahead and get some of the... Flame staffs. Yeah, the flame burst staff. So, this should be easy. I don't even have to worry about anything really getting to the main area. It's getting sliced here. Alright, so the wave's complete already. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pop down one of those. And get the mana. There anymore? No. So we're just one mana off from being able to summon another. Yep. Alright. But now we just wait for the next wave. <laughs> I mean, truthfully, I could take care of the whole thing with my Meow Mir. And then uh, let that happen there. But, we won't want to leave the entirety of this side completely just unprotected. Alright. Now I'm gonna help the other side there with a little spray of the Terra Edge here. There we go. Another wave complete. Alright. I think there was a little bit of mana left. Go ahead and summon those two. Like there's one. There's two. Perfect. Can make another. And make this uneven just for everyone who has OCD. No, I'm joking. But I'm gonna try to make as many of these as I can, just to make sure that this whole middle part here is protected. Though, truthfully, probably not an issue. You know, I don't even have to look in this direction here. This direction may need a little bit of attention now. Alright. Easy as pie. Let's see what we got going on over here. Another wave completed. Nice. Alright. So let's set this one down there. There. Is there any more mana? Yes. Just enough for yet another one. Alright. So... Now we just wait here, and time to fly. Right, so now we've got Dark Mages coming in. Let's go ahead and use a little bit of this. Probably shoot some to this side now. Wherever a Dark Mage comes out, I just need to go ahead and point in that direction, and it's just gone. A little bit of a close shave there. And do a little bit of the shaving on that side. Well, there wasn't even a Dark Mage. Did I read that wrong? No, and Dark Mage. Okay. I guess I may have just killed it too fast for the game to register. Alright. Let's go ahead and walk over here and make sure we collect all this. And... Go ahead and set this down there. Oh no, the... Rainbow Crystal Staff finished off there. Gonna do a little bit of that. Oh no, we have an Orc now. Let's just uh, quickly deal with that. Oh no. Let's deal with that a little bit more because somehow it was taking a little while. I'm not quite sure what was attacking over here. 
But whatever it was, it had the attention of my crystal staff. Alright, so there's another orc here. Yeah, ogre, sorry. And boom. Another wave completed. Ooh, the Brand of Inferno is an interesting weapon. That evolves to the Squire Enchantment. Hmm. I think we've got a little bit more mana to this side. Yep. So now we've got... I think we're even right now. No, we're not. So one and two. Alright. I just hope that I can protect the crystal from Betsy when it arrives. Because, uh... Betsy is going to deal some damage if I don't, like, actually stay on top of it. Because unlike the rest of these enemies, I'm fairly sure it isn't going to be this easy of a fight. Oh, there's a Dark Mage here, too. Alright, Ogre on the other side. Give it a nice close shave. Oh, it's Ground Pound thing. Yet another ogre on this side. Another that's dark mage. That's way easier. We didn't do uh, ogre's club. Interesting. It's basically the uh, master mode pet item for the ogre. And we apparently didn't get the dark mage relic last time either. Oh, this really? Okay. All right, Betsy is right here. Wow. Okay. She was right there. Alright. I just need to make sure to keep her away from the crystal. There we go. And Betsy is down. I might as well just open up the treasure bag, because that's what I need to do. Get the Betsy wings. No, I get uh, skips stuff, though, which is pretty cool. I always do enjoy getting developer stuff. Alright, so there's that. The Weak Sky Dragon's Fury. Alrighty. Now, can I craft the wings yet? It was... Flight Mastery, right? Yeah. It was made into which one? Soul of Dimensions, that's right. This one's all of the, like, Supersonic Soul, the World Shaper, all those ones. Alright, so we're looking for Flight Mastery here. Can we craft it? No, we, we need the Treasure Bag. Is there a way to summon just Betsy on her own, is my question. Let's check the wiki. Where is Betsy? Betsy there. Hmm. One's on wave seven, the final wave of tier three. I feel like there was an item. Betsy. Where is it? There's gotta be a thing that summons Betsy, right? Yeah. Dragon's Egg summons Betsy. Let's go ahead and use the Mutant Gift quickly to go ahead and summon the Deviant. Use that. And then turn that off immediately. Because I don't feel like doing Eternity Mode right now. <laughs> right, so there's the Forbidden Fragment. Just a new chest. Some cloud snacks, and a moth. Uh, heart chocolates for nymphs. What else? I think that's everything. Alright. So let's go on and research the rest of this and call it a day. Or at least, not, not call it a day for the stream, I mean, like, call it a day over here on the, on the battle platform. Oh, that was. There's some defender medals there. So it's turning nighttime. I can summon in the festive frenzy again. 
Let's just speed run this because I need those wings. <laughs> this is already an ever stream somewhere. Where is it? I already dropped down. That's not, that's not the best. Whoa, lag spikes. You know, something tells me the game is not too fond of there being this many enemies on screen. Just a slice and dice a little bit. This is the nutcracker. There is a right, surprising amount of just stuff left all over the place. Right, so we've already got Ice Queen. Which all I need is just one of the Everstreams. Gonna take this thing out. Come on. Alright, so that one goes. Oh, just need never scream. And then destroy all these guys. Another ice queen needs to get gotten rid of. Alright. Oh, there was two of them. Oh, three of them. These things are multiplying. Alright. Alright, there's an ever scream. Come on. Nothing? Okay. And then toss all that. And let's, I guess, try to look for another ever scream. Is there a thing for the ever scream? I feel like there was one in the mutant shop. For the ever scream. Oh, there's an ever scream. Hello, ever scream. Still nothing. Huh. I turned off the the battle cry. Just in case that had something to do with it. Alright. Yes, I got the trophy. So I don't have to do this fight anymore. Now we just need to go and get Betsy. Oh, that's a new one. All we gotta do now... Well, first, try the daytime. But I also need to try to get the mutant to move in. So let's just murderize the rest of these guys. These guys don't have any houses yet, so we should just uh, quickly go ahead and get rid of them for a second. Rock. And eggs. Because we need to get rid of these guys so that we can actually, uh, well, get some new move ins. And then do a little bit of this. Just a little bit of house cleaning, you know? Okay, the operator's fine. It's this guy. And this guy. Don't want to kill anyone that actually has room that we made. We'll go ahead and actually get these guys to move in permanently later. Okay. This guy's tough. How is he not dead yet? Hello? No, get back here. No hiding in the housing. Alright. That took forever. The perma scarf. Hello there. Great to see new people in chat. All right. So after that little bit of house cleaning, we should have a few new rooms. So the deviants already moved into one. I uh, do know. I mean, I know we have uh, Santa Claus down here, but we we can't house clean Santa Claus away. Let's just be real. It, it's Santa Claus. Alright, so while we're waiting for more people to move in, I guess we'll go ahead and fight Betsy the old-fashioned way. With a little bit of fast travel. Alright. So let's go ahead and deal with these. Need another crystal. 
Crystal. There you go. Uh, no, I do not own a server for this game. This is just me playing in a personal world. Gonna set up crystal there. And then get out the flame. Actually, you know what? Let's go for ballistas this time. Yeah. Ballista staff. Here we go. Just because I want to do something different. Ballistas today. Alright. I think that takes care of all the ones that are there. I don't know why the Deviant's still here. They have a new house. Alright. So in five seconds there'll be a new one. Okay, the Jeweler is here. Not quite sure how much I like that guy being here. Just because I need the mute to spawn in. So I can actually start buying some boss summoning items. Right. Looks like the deviants over here are actually helping, which is nice. Alright, let's walk on through. And let me set down a few more of these. And we should be good to just continue on fighting. Alright. Actually. No, I don't think we can duplicate the Eternia mana. Or the Ethereum mana. It'd be cool if I could. I'm not really sure what else to do while waiting, so. Alright. Young Brewer is back. I guess that's fine. It's one of those, eh, didn't really need him. Gonna wipe the floor with these guys here. And then run right through. Alright. Not doing a very good job of taking care of the dragons in this guy. So. That is something that I'll have to keep note of for these ballistas. Alright. So, I think just enough to put down another. So, let's go ahead and do that. Gotta keep our forces nice and supplied. And I think from here on, I can just sit here in the middle. Betsy arrived? Oh, wait, that's right. I have the uh, Bosses Become NPCs mod. I guess we can go and see if the Betsy NPC sells the Betsy wings. I guess wouldn't be too far-fetched, would it? Alright. I can just sit here. You know what? They can eat some Meow Meow. Just because I think it's fun. <laughs> we didn't even see the Dark Mage on screen. It just kind of evaporated. My goodness, this is some carnage left just because of some rainbow cats. <laughs> you know, it's really funny to think that these rainbow cats can do so much damage. Dark Mage Relic, no thanks. So, Ballista, Ballista. And then get set up with the Meow Meow. Alright, Wither Beast, Ogre, Draken, Gliders, Kobold, Bombers, Goblins. Alright, cool. Nothing too crazy. Gonna take care of the ogre. I'm not sure if it's in this direction, but let's go ahead and make sure. Is it? Which direction is it? Oh, it. <laughs> it's over there! <laughs> oh, why is it so far away? I just need to go and see this. Where, Where is it? Oh, there's a merchant goblin bomber. Cool. But where? Is it all the way over here? Why, Why is it over here? 
Oh my god, that is silly. Why is it all the way there? Alrighty then. I guess we'll just leave him there. We'll not mess with him any further. He'll live his life out over there in peace. And I know that the Meow Mirror's knockback's pretty high, but I didn't think it was that high. Maybe because it was light, it took more knockback than it already, you know, was taking. <laughs> but, that's just crazy. Okay, so that's one, two. One, two. And then Meow Mirror. Nope. Everything must go. Okay. The ogre is slowly coming towards us at an alarming rate, actually. We should start seeing him on the underside of the arena here soon. If he comes and attacks me, it's not going to end well for him. But, uh... <laughs> as long as he doesn't just come over here and start trying to murderize the crystal, he's probably going to live a long and happy life flying in the sky. Oh, there's Betsy. Hi. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, that scared me a little bit. <laughs> Alright. Going ahead, a little bit of Star Wrath here. And boom. Betsy Treasure Bag. And a Betsy Egg. There we go, the Ogre got to live a nice, happy life. I didn't have to fight him at all. I still want to know why it was all the way, like, off the, like, off the little battle area here. Alright, so let's teleport on over and go in and see what Betsy has to offer here. Alright, so we've got a Betsy costume, Old Ones Army music box, trophy. They do sell the Betsy wings. And actually all the Old Ones Army stuff. That's nice. Alright. Well, I guess it's time to make that uh, Soul of Flight Mastery. Soul... Oh wait, and we have the Supersonic Soul. Which one... I know I've got evolution of that somewhere. Alright. So what is this thing made of? Oh, it's the Aeolus Boots. And the Sweetheart Necklace. Seal the Cthulhu. All of that. Alright. So I can swap out my Aeolus boots for that. For the Supersonic Soul. Alright. Whoa, that is fast. Okay, then. And then I can swap out the Soul of Cryogen here. For the Flight Mastery. Oh my god, this is crazy fast. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put the Soul of Krajan in here just so I can get that, uh, the dropping effect of the crystals. But, uh, yeah, this is insane. Just a little bit. Um. Hi. I would like to reforge these, sir. Uh,. Not sure if I want to keep these. Oh, I need money. Uh, platinum coins. Gimme. Okay. That is absurdly fast. Uh, I'm surprisingly slow without them. You know what? I'm going to leave it up to chat. Do I... Keep the super like the super fast stuff, uh, or do I just stick with my normal Aeolus boots? <laughs> it is completely up to chat on this one. I am not sure if I could actually continue running at that speed forever, so I'm going to put my Aeolus boots in my current slot. And then, uh, let chat say whether or not they like it or not. Oh, it's a Merchant Forest Spirit. Nice. Some red Dynasty Shingles. Yeah, regular does seem better. 
I'll put this away for now. By that I mean I'm going to trash it for now. So we've got our nice being able to fly around. So I'm just going to feel a lot slower. Hmm. Oh, whatever. So the next thing we need for this... I want to go for the Trowler Soul. So what do we need? We need the Angler Enchantment. That we need... Lava Proof Tackle Bag. And that's it, actually. Just the Lava Proof Tackle Bag. We need the Angler's Tackle Bag. Which is... High Tense Fishing Line. I need Free Hard Mode. Or actually, I can go and fight Duke Fishron. So you know what? Let's go and wipe Duke Fishron off the map. Speed. And we need a fishing rod, first of all, so. Let's just go for fiberglass, why not? Fiberglass, fishing rod. And we need a truffle worm. Here we go. So let's go ahead and beat the monster of the seas here. Alright. This should be easy. Considering previous fights, this should be easy. <laughs> Alright. So Duke's going into its second phase now. Third phase, and dead. Alright, nice. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and unlock that treasure bag. That was way too quick of a fight. I'm not sure if I used up the truffle worm, so I should probably grab another couple of those. You know what? Can I get two of the Duke Fishrons in here at once? If both start bobbing at once, I think I can do it. Come on. Alright, fine. Just gonna let my uh, minions deal with that while I go fishing. Nope, okay. So I can't summon multiple. That That is sad. Let's just uh, do a little bit of star rain here. Get out of that because... Uh, oh wait, no, I did pull up another Duke Fishron. I don't know how I didn't notice that on the map. But that's one down. And... There's my mouse, there's my mouse. Alright. There is the other one down. There's something there. Oh. It's a triple question mark. Yeah, sure, why not? Where is she? Oh, that's right. There's Leviathan. Go ahead and do a little bit of star rain on him. And there's Siren there. And... That down. Alright, cool. I don't know why I decided to do that, but I did. So, there we go. Staunch fish stick. Huh. Got Duke Fisher on lore. Got fiberglass fishing pole and the treasure bag. Alright, so treasure bag. No. I have to type in Duke. Yes, yes I do. Alright. The cruel cyclone. Why are they tops? Extremely slow, insane knockback. Okay. I guess I'll try them out at some point. <laughs> but uh basically all we need is the bubble blower baton. Uh, no clue what this is doing. But, uh, hey. I guess it's fine. Shrimpy Truffle is always good, though. Alright, so. I just need that high-tension fishing line. Cyclone. That's cool. Shoots out little water bullets. 
It doesn't drop from the treasure bag, does it? Ooh, whirlpool. I think I don't have the ammo for that one. Also, I do need to get going. So, I'm going to check this quickly. Where is... Doofish run, here we go. Should say where it comes from. Oh yeah, it does give the high test fishing line. So we just need to keep opening these until it gives it to us. But, uh... I do have to end the stream here in maybe a couple minutes. But, uh... If we can get this before then, I will be very happy. And then we can have the Traveler's Soul just in our back pocket as just a thing that we did today. Ooh. We got Loki's armor set. Nice. And... Oh, Loki die. That's right. Uh, where is the high test fishing line? I think it was the drop added by a mod. So I'm just hoping here. I mean, it said that it was here. Right? Oh, there goes Moon to cult the stuff. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Let's check the book again. Is it going to tell me? Is it only in master mode or something? Well, I'll... I'll go ahead and try to get that off stream. Because I think the only other way to do it is to get the... Uh, quest line stuff done. Or to do the pre-hard mode fishing tokens. Which are crafted from hard mode fishing tokens. I think we could actually go in and get a few of those quickly. But not quick enough, so... I will... Do this off camera, and we can continue with the rest of the solo stuff later. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you all in the next episode. Bye, everybody.